Okay, um, the next success mantra is to ask that question, how do I research about an employer to get the information about the employer so that I can make the right choice. Earlier we talked about how do we choose the right employer, what are the dimensions of good employer proposition, etc. The natural question is, okay, good, how do I find out about the employer? So I am going to talk about seven different ways on which you know about the employer or the research about the employer. The first and foremost is go to Google, put the employer name and go to Google News and click on that button for Google News. Immediately all the information about the company will come out, the press releases, uh, the negative news about the company, uh, the variation also there are a lot of websites uh, like uh, Glassdoor is a good website. Their employers, employees go and talk about their experience with the employer. So the first one is use the internet, use Google News, use special, special websites to go more about the employer. It is not only about how they treat the employees, also about growth prospects of the company. Is the company making money? Is there any cases against the company? These are things we need to know in Google News. Second, talk to recruitment consultants. What is the important information I'm looking for in the consultant? Consultant should tell me, if this company attrition rates are very high, if the attrition rates are very high, I am a little worried. Is it safe for me to join? Because in the first job, I have to succeed in the first job. So recruitment consultants can give you some information about attrition rate, how many, uh, what is the employment stability, how the company treats their employees. Third is very important, your own alumni from your own college who have joined the same company in the last batch or last but one batch. So the idea is to keep connect, connect with them through LinkedIn or some other medium and talk to the ex-alumni or alumni of the college. Fourth is the employees of the company other than alumni. They could be ex-employees, current employees. There are various ways of finding out who the ex-employees are. Easiest way is to get some help to go to a job board. In the job board, many of the people are working in job boards or are present in the job board. So we can get the ex-employees or current employees data and then I can call them directly. The fifth dimension is about leadership team profile. What do we mean by that? If the company has highly professional people sitting at the top, you have MBAs, IIT, some of these good colleges, if people are sitting at the top, obviously they want to make sure that the employees also get a professional environment. So a good leadership profile is a good indication of a good employer. And the, and the last two items are networking websites. I, I mentioned about last door is one about employer evaluation, but networking could be for example LinkedIn, for example Facebook. So there are various sites we can go and read up about this employer. Anybody commenting about the employer, what do they say about the employer? And the last is the business news about the company. If I have made a list of five companies I want to reach out to, I will read everything which gets published about that company in a newspaper, whether it's an economic paper or a newspaper, daily newspaper. I am looking out for news about that item. Why do I do that? One, it gives me an idea the company is progressing, how are they being perceived by the press, by the investor community. But more importantly, when I go to the interview, some of this data will be very useful to share with the company.